All righty. Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone's doing their day thus far. My name is Hadid Drakeford. I'm your director of Turn Affairs. And today we have the opportunity to have your fellow East Coast captains, you know, discuss about the upcoming tournament that's going to have on the East Coast, as well as some of the things that they have experienced um, and try to help their team out during the post-pandemic, so to speak. So we got Christian uh, from Penn State University, Jake from UVA, Drew from JMU, Daniel for University of Maryland, and last but not least, Griffin from Towson. Gentlemen, how are you doing tonight? Doing great. Doing yeah. well. Yeah, um, pretty good, pretty good. Good, good. So just, you know, right off the bat, you know, I'll just ask you guys questions one by one. Um, pretty straightforward, straight to the point, and then – uh, we'll spend the rest of the time pretty much talk about the Towson Invitational, and I'll see if I can try to get the schedule onto the to the stream itself, so folks can actually know what's going on. The time so, talk about the Towson Invitational. And I'll see. I right. yeah, I know, man, I know. All right, so Christian, let's start off with you, man. Um, wow, um, it's been a while since Penn State have you know actually played in a tournament, man. Like. What were some of the things you guys been doing, you know, during the pandemic and try to get your team back on the court? Uh, we've been just trying. Uh, we've just been trying to maintain the uh, the connection that we used to have uh, as a team. We had some people leave, unfortunately, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we got some new recruits out, so I'm really happy about that. We got sophomores and we got freshmen mainly as the uh, new recruits. And lately, we've just been uh, playing practice games, honing in our skills, and uh, teaching the uh, the new. Uh, players uh, try to how to catch and how to throw especially um, and we're just uh, we're really trying to work on the uh, the stamina that we have in the game and then we also trying to work on the power too nice nice Jake same question for you yeah I mean we've been um, got a lot of new recruits uh, I think we had around eight returners um, which was more than I thought we were gonna get um, and a ton of new players were actually I'm more than we're going to be able to bring our roster. So that's been really good, um, just recruiting overall. But kind of same things as Christian said, um, just teaching the kids how to um, throw and catch to start. But um, now, you know, as we get more and more into tournaments, we'll be working on a lot of tactics um, and stuff that goes along with that instead of just playing pickup. Nice, nice. Drew, same question for you, my guy. Uh, yeah, so from the pandemic, obviously we've had a lot of – the older guys leave a lot of the names that were well known, but um, with the connection one, so bring closer together. I think through that, um, they know that I don't like to lose, and that if they're not good, I'll call them out. So I'm just help them get better. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what about you, Daniel, up in Maryland? Yeah, so uh, as some of you well know, we always have a bunch of juniors and seniors. Our team is usually very top-heavy, and we got a bunch of younger guys developing, and that's no, no no different this year. I'd say coming into this year, we had six returners and only four people that have ever played a tournament before. So it's gonna. So we got a big recruiting class, though. I think we have a probably more than a full roster that signed up for Towson, so we might have to figure out a way to rotate all those guys and get them some playing time. But yeah, a lot, a lot of the new guys are they're willing to play. We're still learning. Just start implementing shot clock and different tournament strategies. Last last couple of practices, so the the guys are getting up to speed. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a great learning experience for the new players, and ho hopefully we can bring them along fast and be ready for the next couple of tournaments. Nice, nice. Love to hear it. And Griffin, the host school, Towson University himself. What about you, my guy? Yeah, you know, we're I feel like we're in a similar boat as uh everybody else. Um we have we I think we got about 10 uh, we're looking at about like 10 returners, 10 10 returning starters uh, that will be able to play. Um but you know, we lost a lot of guys, uh people like graduated, a lot of big arms, a lot of big catchers. Um so you know, we have we put a focus just like everybody else on recruiting um and uh, and I think we've got we've got I, I like the class that we've uh, that we've recruited so far. Um, and, you know, practices have been going well. We're, you know, focusing on, uh, you know, teaching guys how to throw, how to catch, and then the nuances of the game, you know, how to play with play, play with the shot clock in your favor and, uh, you know, all that all that good stuff. And uh, I'm just really excited. I can't wait to play games. 
Absolutely. It's it's been a while since the majority of the teams on the East Coast have actually competed against one another. I think the last time the majority of you guys was actually in attendance was at the JMU Beast tournament back in February of 2020. So it's definitely been a while and hopefully within the next within the next few months um, in the springtime we'll actually have our first ever East Coast um, championship tournament like some of the other regions are doing. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, with that being said, I'm still having a difficult time trying to pull up the schedule, but you guys know the schedule. So I'll just very quickly, for the sake of time, tell the audience uh, what are the games on court one as well as court two. So for court one, uh, first game is going to be Towson versus UVA, Towson versus JMU, UVA versus Penn State, and Towson versus Penn State University. Their core two is going to be JMU versus Penn State, Penn State versus Maryland, uh, JM, JMU. Um, oh, that, that, sorry about that. Uh, JMU versus Maryland, and then last but not least, UVA versus um, Maryland. So, um, we'll just go ahead and we'll actually do, um, Quote one games because there's actually some pretty interesting stuff. So when you guys initially saw the schedule for the first time, and you guys can go one by one, what was like the thing that really kind of jumped out for you personally? I just can't believe that you know we're playing games like in like a year and a half, and I mean just the fact that we're able to play dodgeball is the thing I'm most excited about. Um, you know, I feel like we're they got the returners that we have. We're very, very happy to you know defend this national title. Obviously, we lost a got lost a lot of guys. Um, um, and I feel like every other school's probably in the same boat. And uh, you know, we still, fortunately, our our we I was a freshman when we won the championship, and uh, so like we're now seniors. Uh, we want we want to show that you know we we belong to the top, and uh, so we're looking forward to do. It. Looking forward to proving that, uh, proving that we belong to the top next Sunday. Still you know, UVA. You know, it's interesting saying that because one could say that you guys have won the championship for three years. Other people could say that COVID have actually won the championship the past two years. I don't really know, but it's going to be interesting to say the least. But um, Jake, I know you guys have a, a pretty solid squad and I'm expecting you guys to bring it in a full roster. How do you feel about like that first game against Towson? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, uh, Griffin just mentioned they're, they're uh, the current national champions. And so that was the first thing that jumped out of me. Um, obviously playing them first, we, you know, consider our, our first game to usually be our best game as we have, you know, we're healthy and all of our flower, our flowers are, playing well. So um, I think it'll be, you know, a good game. I'm hoping we can hang in there and, um, you know, give the new guys a taste of what some of the best teams in the nation are like. Nice. JMU, it's been, I want to say, since 2015 that y'all actually play against Penn State. It's been almost six years, seven in some areas. And you haven't really seen them you know, play that much along the East Coast. What are, you know, what are some of the things that you're, you know, expecting from them? Um, well, I think we played them up at uh, Penn State or maybe Acker, and it was a tournament against them my freshman year. Um, but that, you know, that was when we had uh, S, Sean, Gabe, Garrett, all those guys. Right. And then haven't seen them. So, you know, it's really like, it's kind of like playing anyone at this point. You don't know what to expect because it's been a year or two since we've really played anyone. Um, and I feel like the rosters are just completely different. So, you know, we're just going in there with the mindset of how we go into every game and just win. Oh, oh come on, Drew. You, you guys do just a little bit more and just, you know, win. You all get a little excited from time to time. Yeah, we do get a little rowdy. Say that. A little, a little, a little friendly trash talking. 
Yeah, long. that's practice. I, I've been trying to the, the new kids how to do it the right way. I respect that. Try to do things the right way. Um, Christian, I, I know that you guys have agreed to actually do four games in this tournament. You guys actually do. Well, actually, you don't get a break. Um, oof. How you how you feel about that? You know, starting off against JMU right off the bat. I'm excited. I remember, uh, like Drew said, I remember playing JMU. I think it was my freshman year too. Um, we just had honestly a blast. Like it was a great time playing JMU. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we're coming hard this year. Like our roster, we have a lot of returners. We have probably ten returners coming back, and most of them are juniors and seniors. So we're top heavy this year, and uh, we got two new recruits who have cannons for arms so uh it's gonna be it's gonna we're gonna have a good uh good subs in and we're gonna we're not gonna lose any throwing power at all and um we just play non-stop dodgeball constantly running in practice so i think our stamina is gonna be fine and i run i run them hard this year i'm not gonna lie a lot harder than most other years i've been on the team so we'll see how everything shakes down um but it should be a blast i can't wait to play i've been waiting for about two years to play so i'm ready oh. Oh, so so you're telling me that it would be extremely unwise to sleep on Penn State this year. That's what you're telling me. I think we're, uh, in my my humble opinion, I think we're going to be top five teams this year. I know it's been a little bit harder in the past, but we got good catchers this year. We got good throwers, and uh, we're ready to bring the heat. Okay, I took my hat off. I was about to take my glasses off. I'm about to be blind. I can't see. Okay, <laughs> so we, we already – all right, so – Crack my neck a little bit. All right, so we got we got a little bit of, you know, some confidence. I love to see it. Top five. That's first of all, that's very lofty. Second of all, you know, kudos for you to, you know, to have the guts to say that on a live stream. So, okay, so I have some confidence. Of course, of of course, of course, you have to. You know, otherwise, there's no reason to play the game. Um, man, but that second matchup though, Towson versus JMU though. Oof. You guys have a um one could say a rivalry, you know, other people could say um a very healthy disdain towards one another. Some say that, you know, y'all cordial off the court, but different story on the court. So gentlemen, I'll just I'll just let you take it. Yeah, I mean I think uh that's definitely when when we saw the schedule, I think that's definitely one that uh my eyes saw first, uh, looking at the house in JMU with the 11-15 window uh, over on court one. Um, I mean, you can say what you want about Michigan school, Ohio school, but uh, I feel like for, you know, Towson and JMU score off against each other, I feel like it's always competitive. It's always fun to watch. It's always fun to be a part of. Um, you know, we're, we're uh, looking forward to coming off a have, have a short break, have a, off a comfortable win over UVA, and then uh, taking on JMU right at 11-15. Oh, you just – like, you do know, like, Jake is, like, right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, like you just, like – I mean, I know you're having a conversation with There's the group. over that. But you just, like, yeah, let me just gloss over that and go straight to JMU. I mean, Jake, I mean – I, I was gonna let Drew. Drew's gonna talk, but Jake. I mean, like, feel feel free to chime in, cause I don't know, man. Like, that's that's not my place. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trip him back here. He's got a ring, and I do, and I don't. So he's uh, he's got he's got the right to say that. But we'll uh, see. we're not overlooking anybody, but uh, but uh, definitely we're we're worried about JMU uh, on, on Sunday. We're worried about everybody, but JMU definitely sticks out. All right, all right. I'm just, you know, I'm just making sure. I mean, y'all, y'all grown. Y'all, y'all can do what you want. I mean, but just from a older person perspective, I'm like, whoa, like you just. But hey, you know, Jake, you know what? Being diplomatic, I respect that. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see some stuff that Sunday, and um, we'll just leave it at there. Drew, you go ahead and you get in there, man. Yeah. Um... I, I love to hear that they're just a little scared of JMU. Um, just put a little fear in them. I mean, maybe it'll encourage them to work a little harder. Um, but, you know, the whole winning the national championship and everything, um, you know, that's in the past. 
the rankings speak for themselves right now. I know they haven't played anything yet, but um, that also means they haven't seen anyone yet. Um, and, you know, it's always a fun matchup with Towson. I think the, the intensity is kind of um, up a little between us, especially, you know, like you said. Um, you know, we're looking forward to that one, especially. Uh, I think these, uh, these games on Sunday, next Sunday, will uh, really determine a lot and uh, could really be a preview into the Final Four, possibly. But we're confident. We're very confident going. All right. So we already got, we already got my man Christian from Penn State talking about his team got the potential to be a top five. We got Griffin already saying, "I'm looking at JMU." Drew, you already saying that this tournament could be a preview uh, for a Final Four matchup, depending upon how things shift. Um, Okay, with well, that being said, Daniel, you haven't had an opportunity to speak yet. You about to get your first game against Penn State in that 11-15 matchup. Tell me how you feel about that. Yeah, I'm just saying the Ohio and Michigan guys watching this stream might have a little bit of a problem with three uh, top five teams we got here. But anyways, I digress. But uh, I'm just happy we get to play Penn State because we played Penn. I've played Penn State once, and that was my freshman year. And both our teams are drastically different. And it feels weird seeing all these guys that I knew as were my year as the captains now. It's just it's very different as we had all the turnover. Pretty much my freshman year, last time I played Penn State, pretty much our whole team was seniors. And I'm sure some of you remember how we kind of ran the table at a Nationals and we went 4-1 and one there and finished, I think it was number eight in the country, made the quarterfinal. But, yeah, that, so I think my expectations for this tournament are really trying to get the new guys up to speed. As most of us well know, Maryland, we'll, we ne might not start off the fastest, but uh, our goal is to get better each tournament, which we which we usually do. So uh, I'm just trying to get the new freshmen in the game, get them better, and tell them to uh, and kind of uh, let them learn how to play. And that's that's really my goal, and really try to bring in the next era of Maryland dodgeball, because as I said, we don't got a lot of returners. So I got to do my job to make sure the program stays strong. I respect that. You kind of looking at things from like right now and try to build yeah. your team like throughout Big the season. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I mean, but with that being said, I mean, I also know even at this tournament, y'all want to make a statement too. Like yeah, you count, no. like you count if we can pick up If we can pick up two wins, that'd be – I mean, we got Penn State, JMU, UVA. If we can pick up two wins out of those, that'd be great. Even one win, I'd be happy to go with. I just want, I just want something for the guys to look at back on and be proud of. And I'm already proud of the the big strides our freshmen have made in practice. And uh, it, all of them gotten a lot better. And some of it, since we only had a recruitment fair a couple of weeks ago, it's, built, it's only been like five or six practices that a lot of them have been to, and big strides already. And I think, I think they're ready to go. Nice, nice. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. And um, Christian, I know like you just getting off that game against JMU, going against Maryland, your second game. I'm assuming y'all still gonna try to bring that energy, bring that cans and whatnot. We're gonna we're gonna we try our hardest. I told the boys, uh, I was like, hey, listen, we're gonna have four games. I'm like, we're not gonna have a break. Are you guys okay with that? I said, yeah, we're excited. We're uh, ready to play. They just want to have fun and go out there and you know, like Dan said, be proud of what they put out on the court. Oh, let's see what we have here on Facebook real quick. We got my man, Jake, Jack. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. He's telling you, Drew, to put a shirt on. Hey, that's not me. That's My my uh, my dodgeball group chat is blowing up. That's why I'm laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I just figured to put some air, put some transparency out there. All right, cool. So the 1230 matchup, which I personally believe is also an underrated matchup, an underrated time slot, but still fun nevertheless. UVA versus Penn State. I don't think you two have ever played against each other, ever. Not that I can remember, at least. Yeah, I don't. I don't recall. Um, and I'll just do a, uh, somewhat of a quick preview for those who don't know, like the two teams. Um, Penn State, for as long as I can remember, y'all were probably still are very athletic people. Like, y'all just, 
I, I don't know how y'all do, but y'all just go out there, just have a lot of energy, just raw talent. It's kind of crazy to watch, especially when I saw that um that matchup against Akron and y'all won like with like two people left on the court and it was like less than 30 seconds. That was wild. And uh, UVA, even though Jake, he's not going to say it, but this is arguably the best UVA team that I personally seen. And they're very systematic. Like everybody pretty much know exactly what they need to do at any given time period. And Jake, he just tell them, Hey, this is the play. Everybody falls in line. So with those two different styles, you know, what do you think each, you know, for your team, um, Christian, and your team, Jake, what are y'all going to have to do to kind of make sure y'all get, you know, you can say a signature win or at least a key win, you know, as you try to, you know, rack up as many wins as possible? Yeah, I mean, like Christian said, we haven't played yet um, ever in my life. So I think um, I'm really excited to see how they are. Um, it's good to hear that you said they're athletic. I think, um, you know, we play better against um, athletic teams who maybe are a little bit more disorganized. Um, and, yeah, like, like you said, um, we try to be super disciplined um, and make sure we're getting good ball control and um, things like that, which, you know, a lot of that comes from just in practice. We have Friday practices where we do pick up games, but Tuesday we really drill a lot of that stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to play Penn State, and um, I think it'll be a good matchup. Yeah, I uh, I agree with Jake. Honestly, I'm super excited to uh, play a new school. I love, always love playing new schools, seeing the new uh, styles of play. Um, I would say we're definitely uh, polar opposites. Not that we're not systematic, but we're uh, a little bit more on the wild side um, as a team. So we'll, it's going to be super interesting to see how it plays out. Try to maintain ball control and see if we can uh, knock their system out of whack a little bit. Nice, nice. All right. Um... That next game on court two is going to be JMU versus um, Maryland. Now, I'm not for sure who told me this um, anonymously or whatnot, but something someone told me that Maryland was very eager to play against JMU. Daniel, you can confirm or deny that if you want. I don't, I don't, I don't exactly have to tell you that. I don't know. I don't know where. I... No, I don't. I don't know. I just, I just heard it from an anonymous source. I don't know who the source is. They just told me like, hey, like, make sure that Maryland and JMU play against each other. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know. I mean, kind of a, you know. Yeah, I it's... mean, I'm looking forward to JMU just to really get our guys. Because JMU always has a bunch of good arms great athletic players. I'm really just want our new guys to get some good experience about great players like that because they see guys like they see guys like me throwing in practice and they sometimes catch them off guard. And I'm like, you guys got to be ready for that. GMU is going to come slinging. Those guys still gas. So uh, I, I'm really just looking forward to getting the guys the experience against GMU. We play GMU pretty much every tournament. JMU Towson, pretty much every tournament we, we get those guys. So uh it's a great experience for us and really helps us get better at our game because they're always a really strong team and uh, helps us round into shape come come the spring and come nationals. So I, I love playing JMU and Towson. It's a great learning experience and, and and it's a great opportunity for us to play a great team and have a uh, have a chance to show what we can do. Drew, tell me tell me how. Um... You can be honest with me, Drew. Tell, tell me how you really feel about this particular game after the game that y'all just played against Towson. It's okay. Um, well, you know, coming off Towson, obviously that's going to be the big one. Um, and throw some new kids in there, uh, more experience. But I think our goal is obviously getting ahead and getting that first point because in the past sometimes, you know, we get a little too excited and uh, lose composure during the first point. Um, but, you know, that wasn't a problem at Beast last time we played Maryland. Um, you know, we're looking for some more headshots. Those are always fun. Some some of your reactions that get posted, Shadid, those are awesome. So we're looking to create some more of those through that. But, um, you know, it's awesome. Um, respect to the throwers and the throwers that we have. So that's all here and a couple of new kids that we got and just the guys that are returning um definitely have a 
pretty strong and healthy team. You know, I, I listened to everything that you were saying and whatnot, but um, something about these headshots, though. Like, I forgot I forgot the last time how many headshots took place. I want to say it was at least seven. Probably more than that between UVA and JMU. That's a whole different story. So, Drew, is, is it safe for you to tell me on live that you're going to be gutting, like you're going to, you, you want your team to get some headshots so you can get those IG posts that you've been you've been telling me about. Is that what is that what's going on here? I'm not saying that, but uh, you know, I'm I'm here to get the outs, the quickest way to get the outs. But if there are some headshots, you know, to get us fired up, there's no better way than headshots and smelling salts to get us fired up. And you know, that's got to rip them. Look for it. Lord Jesus. Drew, I think you got me on team throw last time we played JMU. I, I you might got me in the head. And I, I, was, uh, I didn't even see it. Someone else was throwing. My ear was just ringing. I, God, that fucked me up. But uh, I, I, yeah. I did save the two videos. I'm not going to lie. I saved the two videos. Is that um, I hit the kids back and then I watched those a lot just for motivation. Oh, my That's goodness. I... I Oh, oh my goodness! I remember this now. It was at the JMU Beast tournament, in February twenty twenty. I'm you, pretty you, sure it was versus us. It was, and 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 of course, Drew asked me, "Hey, you got the video?" And I'm just like, "I don't want to give it to him," but he asked me. I was like, "Yeah, here you go." And sure enough, yeah. he had a whole field day. That was that was insane. Um, but yeah, if anybody had like any great plays, catches, headshots team kills i'll go ahead and try to find them up do some video editing and send them you know you guys way so that way you can post it on your social media um accounts and also the team accounts too because we can always use more content so just a little fyi um well with that being said last but not least uh we got towson versus penn state um towson be coming off a break uh they're going to be refing both the games at the um at the twelve thirty mark. So so Griffin, like um, you know, are you guys going to play like the majority of your starters, or are you going to try to you know rotate some players out, you know, for your last match against Penn State? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we're going to have to see how the day goes. Um, you know, see how see how everybody's feeling. Um, but you know, I think at, at this point, I think we got to plan on you know playing all our starters at that point. We're not, we don't want to take these games lightly. We want to make sure we walk away with three Ws. Um, and, uh, I mean, a lot of respect to Penn State for playing four games, so definitely keep that in mind as well. Um, but, you know, we want to make sure we we, we, uh, we win every single game, so. All right, and Christian, you, you're coming off your fourth game, man. I mean, I know you're excited, but as a someone with personal experience, you know, who played three games in a row, you get kind of tired, but – you know, what What are you going to tell your team, you know? Because you got to remember, Towson is the home team. Uh, they're the home team. They're the uh, reign champs. Uh, don't get me wrong. Super excited, but I'm uh, a little bit nervous to see how tired the boys are going to be. Um, so we'll see who's uh, who's going to play most of the game. Uh, we'll probably play, play about, uh, about half our starters, half the newer guys, because I do want to let them see uh, – see what we're going to be uh, really up against, especially when we're tired. Uh, so we'll see what, how the fellows are feeling once we, uh, we're we done with game three and then see if anybody's arms are hurting, if anybody really needs to sit, and then we'll go from there. Um, don't we're on, though. I'm still excited. Nice, nice. And also on court two, which I also personally feel like is kind of a sleeper game as, as well, UVA versus Maryland. You all have somewhat of a rivalry, too. Yeah. Which which haven't really been talked about that much. It's more cordial and it's more peaceful than a JMU Towson rivalry. But y'all do have a little rivalry yourself. So Daniel or Jake, y'all can go first and you know, y'all can tell me, you know, how you feel about that game. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, the favorite matchup for me when I look at the slate. Um, and like you said, Mar I think I'd consider Maryland one of our biggest rivals. I always feel like 
win or lose, it's it's a one point a one point game, um, and it usually comes down to the wire. So I'm really excited for this one. I'm kind of bummed it's the third game. Um, you know, when we hosted last weekend, we only played one and a half games, so we'll be testing the new guys and um, you know some more big arms in that third game. But really excited to play them. Nice. Yes. Also, since our it's our third game too, so uh, some of our Younger players might might, need, might get a big opportunity to step up here because uh, we're gonna we're gonna need the arm strength out. It's our third game. Some of our some of our turns like me and Max Swan are gonna be throwing for fifty minutes before that. So we're we're gonna need to, it's gonna be all hands on deck in that game. And UVA we always have competitive games. It's gonna be weird to see no Zane and Jeremy out there. But uh, that yeah, it's all I've known in at least my time. But uh, I'm really interested. I'm really excited to hear this is one of you. This is UVA's uh, one of their best teams. And I'm looking forward to playing them as we would always have competitive games and always be close. We got the better than the last couple of times, but uh, it seems like they're 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 going up. So I think it should be a great game, and hopefully it's a close one. Absolutely. Um, and again, for those of you who are tuning in, y'all have any questions for any of the captains? Please post them here. Um, it still seems like Jake is calling you out, Drew, talking about why you need. Why you're not wearing a shirt? <laughs> you're gonna have to talk to him about that because he's gonna give you a hard time about that. Um, nevertheless, um, with that being said, you know that's a pretty good recap of the tournament itself. Um, I, I just have two additional questions for everybody, um, and then you know we'll just you know we'll just wrap this thing up because. Drew, he got, actually got to go to practice. Want to say at seven thirty tonight? Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, his screen might be frozen. Oof! You hate to see it. Anywho, um, so the first question is, oh, Drew, you you there? I think I'm back. My yeah, you know, my Wi-Fi is acting up. Yeah, you, yeah, you was frozen there, man. You had me a little scared there for a second. Um, oh, no, I'm good. I'm alive. Gotcha, gotcha. So, again, only just have two questions for the group, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Um, so the first question is, what is your goals that you want your team to accomplish within the NCDA this year? And anybody, you know, you can, you know, you can start. I guess I can start. I mean. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. Um, I mean, obviously, obviously, we're the champs. So our goals are going to have to be, you know, um, we want to we want to we want to repeat. We've been a long time coming, and uh, we're forward to showing showing the NCDA, showing the league what we got, and uh, and uh, and be some some hopefully some familiar faces, and also a lot of new. We're gonna put uh, that we're gonna you know show the rest of the league and uh, show that we're gonna be here for uh, for you know the fall. We're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, very top there in the fall, and then in the spring we're gonna make some noise uh, once it comes to nationals. So, but title that's what we want. Gotcha. So pretty much title or bus. Hundred percent. All right then. Okay, Daniel, you up next. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like I've, I've already said uh, many times, uh, I'm really just looking to build, to build our program back because we had a ton of juniors and seniors when COVID hit. So, as I said earlier, we probably have four people right now who have ever played a tournament, uh, we have, and three of them are seniors. So, going to next year, we're gonna, we need I really need to uh, focus on get, getting the guys that we have, our new recruits, getting them up to speed and getting them really ready to carry the team next year. And uh, I'm really just, as, as I mentioned a bit earlier, I'm really just looking to get better each game, each tournament, each practice, just continuous improvement because uh, I, I think that's what we need. And that, that's kind of the Maryland way. And we, we, we always finish much better in nationals. Like the last time there's nationals, as I said earlier, we finished eighth and we started that year one and eight. So uh, the fall is really, the fall for us is really just about uh, getting up to speed and getting the new guys ready to play and, and really be ready come springtime to show, show the country what we're made of. Gotcha. So pretty much slow and steady win the race. Yeah. yeah stay, stay disciplined. Stick to, stick to what we stick, stick to what we can do and uh, 
yeah, knock out, knock out outside of ourselves. Yeah, that definitely sounds like the turban wave right there. <laughs> Drew, what about yourself? Uh, you know, like I started with earlier, really just getting that first point, getting one point at a time, one win at a time, and then, you know, nationals when the time comes. Um, obviously, we're number two right now in the nation, and um, we really we really don't want to drop any, uh, any lower than that. And um, I think right now, um, going into this tournament, the goal is to win three and keep improving the rank. And then uh, a couple weeks from now, go up to Ohio and, you know, I think we'll be playing Grand Valley then at some point. And, um, you know, obviously they're good, but I think when we're fully healthy and we have all our guys, uh, we, can really, we can really put the on the court. So I think it's going to be that every single game. So with that being said, because it sounds like from from what you're telling me that this is a JMU team that not only have the talent to make a deep run, but to potentially go all the way. That's pretty much what I'm getting at. 100%. I think we always have. And, you know, sometimes we've fallen a little bit short, but this year we definitely have the talent potential um, and, you know, all the motivation to, to get to the top spot. I think all of us, Expect nothing less than that. Okay. All right, guys. You heard from Jamie himself. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to head out, though, because I got to gotta get to practice. Thank you, though. Not a problem, man. Hey, have a good time in practice. You too. Well, not you too, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, man. All right, cool. All right, Jake, what about you, man? Yeah, I mean, I think this year we're, I'm just looking to put Virginia on the map again. Um, you know, Daniel said he's just used to seeing Zane and Jeremy on the court. And I think this is kind of a new era. You said earlier, I think this is one of the best uh, UVA teams there's been, at least um, in my career. And so just hoping to put UVA on the map again, not not be a pushover team like we have in the past. And going to this tournament, hoping to get at least two wins. For, for you guys that have – a very successful season at the bare minimum where do you guys want to finish um i mean i don't know i'm not really concerned that much about the rankings i think um in the past um you know we've just kind of stayed around the east coast and so not as much um concerned about the other teams but i want to be you know the top three team on the east coast and then we'll see where we are in the nation um come nationals Gotcha, gotcha. So at least top three on the East Coast, and then when nationals happen, you just let it happen. Yeah, we'll see where we go. I mean, I feel confident with our squad, and um, I'm excited to play other teams in the country. Sweet, sweet. Love to hear it. My man Christian from Penn State, you guys are talking about top five at the minimum. So Right, we're trying. I think we have what it takes this year, uh, but honestly, we're really shooting, although – I know all the boys want to win. We want to get that top five spot. Uh, we really just want to have fun. We're coming off the COVID break, and uh, we all missed it. We all uh, we all saw us playing dodgeball in our dreams, and we're uh, we're back and ready to go. And we're just hoping that uh, other schools will have as much fun playing with us as we do with them. Um, we're just looking to get that social connection back and just have a good time playing dodgeball. Nice, nice. And uh, with that being said. Uh, my final question for everybody, um, what is one thing you want to lead to know about your team? Christian, since you're already up, I'll let you go first. All right. Uh, we have a lot of returning talent. Some of our talent left a little bit, but uh, any talent that did leave, we, uh, we filled uh, with uh, new players or old players who just got a lot better. Um, we got a couple of, uh, got a couple of cannons on our team too. So uh, you better be ready for it to come in hot and you better be ready to catch it or get out of the way. Oof. Okay, then. All right. Jake, what about you? Know, everyone know we're, you know, we're a brand new team. I think uh, I mentioned we have eight returners, but only a few of those guys were playing meaningful minutes and really making an impact on our team um, two years ago. So I think uh, we got a brand new set of talent in first years this year. And a lot of the returning guys have gotten a lot better. So brand new team. All right, Daniel. Yeah, I just I just want I just want everyone to know that uh, 
I, I, like to, I like to think of ourselves as kind of a wild card this year because even now I don't know what to expect of all our new guys, but uh, I, I got a lot of hope for them. That they've been they've been balling in practice, and uh, I think we can surprise some people. And I think I think we can challenge for that uh, that, that number three team in the East, which is, it's always uh, Towson, JMU, and uh, the third is always up for grabs. It's usually us and VCU, but VCU seems like they're in a rebuilding year, and I think any of the teams in this UVA, Penn State. Uh, West Virginia can take that take can take that here, and it's really wide open this year for that spot. And I really like to think that our guys have the have the potential to get in there by come nationals. And it might be a slow start. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we come out fire, and hopefully we can get two at least two wins this weekend and uh, get, get get in the season strong. All right. Last but not least, Griffin. Yeah, uh, hungry. Like we're hungry. We we you know it's been almost two years. We can't. We can't wait. Um, and I'm just excited for – I'm excited for the league to see what we got. I'm excited for them to see, you know, how we've progressed. Uh, I know you saw it. No. Yeah, I did. It was tough. It's a long ride. We're still going to be in the national cup all season. Um, so just, we're, hungry. we're hungry. We can't start throwing balls at people. Uh, yeah. All right. Well said, gentlemen. Well said. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you um, to all you guys for taking time out of your busy day, you know, to have this uh, the interview with me. It's greatly appreciated. Um, I know you guys are juggling, you know, dance with dodgeball, practice, school, and social life. But, you know, it's always good, you know, to see you guys' faces, even virtually. And glad to see that you guys and your team are doing well. So, so thank you for that. Of course. Thanks for having us. Not a problem. Not a problem. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is pretty much the end of this NCDA tournament tr uh, preview of the Towson Invitational. My name is Shadi Drakeford, uh, Director of Internal Affairs, and we are out.